So I see you guys are rid of the timer. That's kind of sad because it was kind of funny seeing every time it went off, you kind of lost your train of thought and you were like, whoa, wait. And uh, what was with that riff? What, what was that? Because I'm figuring it was you when uh, you recorded it the one time, but it's kind of random. Um, so yeah, the Oracle was very good. Shove it up your ass. You don't know. Um, and honestly, you sound like a Jimi Hendrix fanboy. Like, really, dude, it's it sounded kind of bad. You were just like, Jimi Hendrix is great, and you don't know, and leave him alone. Um, and if dude, if you really wanted the props, you can you can use props. I don't, I wasn't gonna yell at you. You're, I'm wondering, like, what was on those pages, though, that you threw, because I'm fairly sure they weren't a bunch of bands. Um. Your topic's boring. I honestly kind of dazed out halfway through, but then you made it kind of interesting with the pencil, missile, and your version of how people said things. Um. But could you have picked a topic I knew less about? Like, I don't know much about music. I know what I like, and I know some facts. I, like, know next to nothing about this history, like, what's going on right now. <laughs> I suck at current events. So, thanks. And I'm definitely going to come up with the topic because that was, I don't want to hear about Berlin. Um, that was hilarious, though, your rendition of um, what's going on in, uh, that was loud. What's going on in, um, Korea. And uh, when you were talking about the missile, like I remembered Eric had said something about it because he was like, I think it's hilarious that they're pretending that it was a satellite. And I was like, I have no idea what's going on. So, yes, it was funny. So, um, I, I like that you gave me a short history lesson on it. That was five minutes. Um, all right, so the one, I got a topic. I just thought of it. Um. I want to talk about Reservoir Dogs because I just watched it recently because I wanted to be able to identify that from um, that other thing, the other Quentin Tarantino movie. And I probably should have written down the name when before I started recording, but dude, it is it's stupid. Like I don't get why it's so um, big because it's just like these dudes are running around and it's not like it would have been good if it was like a mystery because like you're trying to figure out who the dude is that's like that ratted him out who the undercover cop is but then like halfway through the movie they're just like yep it's this dude here you go and it's like I wanted to figure it out give me a second I'm, I'm I was working my way up to the to figuring it out and I don't know, it's just like, it starts out, these dudes are just sitting around the table, and I know that's Quentin Tarantino, he starts out with really boring crap, and then it gets really action-y, and confusing, but it's just like, okay, that's interesting, you see all these guys talking, you get to know their personalities, and then, it's just like, then, you see these two guys, in a car, one of them shot up, and it's one of the dudes around the table, and it's like, okay, I get it, Quentin Tarantino, we're gonna figure this out, but then they just get back to the warehouse, and it's a lot of shouting, cursing, and you're gonna be fine, and no, no, and, um, and then this other dude comes in, Mr. Pink, and he's just like, oh, we got set up, we got set up, and he's all crazy, like, gay, and, um, it's just, they just keep doing, they don't show the heist at all, they show what happened after the heist, like, everybody running away, and they show these guys backstories, which would have been good to like figure out who the cop was if they didn't show the cop story like three stories in. And there's like five or six guys. So um, it's just, I don't know, there's nothing intriguing about it. Like I like the one dude, because he was batshit crazy, but they just kill him off, like nothing. And like almost... Like, just before they reveal who the cop is. So it's like, I, come on. I'm, you gotta entertain me somehow, and just the rest of it is just arguing. And it's not, it's not interesting. I don't know why everybody loves it so much, because I just I found it very boring. I was, uh, bored. <laughs>
Um, some of it was pretty good. I liked how the sudden scenes were cut. Did you know like Quentin Tarantino was actually in that movie and he was like talking? He like had a speaking role. It was interesting because he can act. He can act, man. He's just kind of ugly. And uh, and I know he was in um the one vampire movie, Death Dusk Before Dawn. But he was just kind of weird and like I thought he just couldn't act in that movie. But he can actually act. But it's just he got killed off like really quick. I wonder if he kills himself off in his movies on purpose. But um, yeah, it was just I don't know. I wouldn't watch it like again. And you might want to watch it, but and you might get more out of it. I got nothing out of it. I'm sure I can talk to somebody else and they'd be like, no, 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 you gotta get the nuances. You gotta get all the like subtle stuff. And it's like I. Dude, don't, like, Quentin, don't give me all the subtlety. I don't... Make your movie interesting, and then I will look for the subtlety, but... It wasn't. Um, I just, I didn't, I didn't get it, I guess. Um, wow, six minutes. I don't know. I should give you a topic. What movie have you seen? I don't know, just give me a movie that you've seen that you don't... That you have, that you really like, or you have a problem with. Or you can talk about Reservoir Dogs, because I don't know if you remember much about it, but go crazy, and use props if you want. Alright, see you Monday, I guess.